Hello and welcome to our video where we're going to give you a quick overview of our order symbols on indicator value. Okay, to get going all we need to do is just drag and drop the indicator onto the chart and it'll work out everything for us. The indicator that we use by default to do the ordering is the RSI and that's uh, built into MetaTrader. But as we'll show you later on, you can configure it with an indicator of your choice. So what it's done is ordered all the symbols uh, based on the indicator value. Uh, so it's ordered the, the, the strongest first and that's regardless of whether it's a sell or a buy. And you can see the arrows here just tell you the actual direction it's moving in. This is the indicator value and what it's set to do is to alert. So there's like an alert uh, box there that you could just switch on and off. So as a symbol moves up the list, if it goes into the top two, then it's going to give you a, an alert and you can configure that. You can make it into the top three and so on and that can give you a great uh, indication that a currency pair is now moving strong enough perhaps to consider a trade. Now I've also got a graph of the indicator value over time so this is showing you 15 hours we're currently on the 30 minute uh, time frame and this is just so useful because you can spot trends you can see if the indicator value was higher earlier on if you want to just stop it from uh, flicking around there because you are actually studying these graphs you can just turn off that order there and it'll just show you the order just in, in brackets there so you can just study these and just see which is performing the best so looking at trends and looking to see if we've had better values uh, earlier on. The line in the center there, that's like the midpoint, that's a transition from buy to sell, and the dotted lines, that's the over sold, overbought uh, area, and that, obviously this is fully configurable. Now we also show uh, these uh, numbers here. This is the pips that it's moved in that direction. So this can be very useful for just telling if you've missed the boat. Uh, what we recommend though, we've got a great little option if we just uh, have a look at some of the uh, inputs to the indicator. We've got this one, express pits moved as percent of average daily range. If we turn that on, then what it does, it looks up the uh, daily range of each of the symbols. And instead of just showing pips, it actually shows it as a percentage of the daily range. And this makes it much easier to actually compare uh, the symbols between each other because for some symbols 40 pips can be a huge amount that can represent what it moves in a day but for other symbols that do 160 pips in a day 40 pips isn't so much so to express it as a percentage is just a great feature now what we can also do is to have another instance of the indicator but for a different time frame so if we just drop it onto the chart and this time what we're going to do instead of the period being zero which means whatever the chart is if we set it specifically to four hour and what we can also do is just reposition the box just change the X location and that's just going to put a new instance up but now it's over calculated on the four hour time frame so this is all the indicator values on the four hour time frame and how many pips it's moved in this case in the uh, buy direction uh, or since that indicator crossed the uh, midpoint there so it gives you a really great overview of the market and it is possible to actually have a floating window within MetaTrader so you can actually have this running on a separate monitor and we'll put in the description of this YouTube video just how to achieve that, how to have a floating window within MetaTrader. Okay now what we can also do is configure it to use a different indicator so let's just uh, put the TDI on the chart just so you can have a, a see what it looks like. You don't actually have to have it on the chart to be able to order by it it's just so you can see what it is. You can see it consists of a, a few lines and so we could choose to order on this TDI green line so what we need to do is to tell the indicator the name of the uh, indicator that we want to order by and also we need the color that we're interested in so the green line is actually index 4 so that TDI green line index 4 that's the information we need and then all we need to do is when we're configuring the uh, indicator is we just come down here and the indicator name is not going to be RSI anymore it's going to be TDI and the color index is going to be 4 and that's all we need uh, just while we're here you can see with the inputs you can select the uh, symbols that you want to rank uh, there's various other settings as well so we just OK that close that down so this time it's now looking at the TDI instead of the RSI uh, so we've got the Euro Jap here which is uh, 49.79 so that's actually very close to the midpoint so you can see actually it's down at the bottom because it's only 0.2 off that uh, midpoint because the uh, 
like the RSI, the uh, this green line just oscillates around the 50 zone. Um, so by all means, drop us an email if you're having any concerns about uh, how to do that. But it's just pretty straightforward, as I've just shown you. And you can even cope with uh, quite complicated uh, indicators as well, like something like the Cynthia's eye trend which actually has two lines and you're supposed to use the line that's crossed over so you've got a red and a green well what you can do is when you can configure our indicator you just put the red one first so it'd be one comma zero and that would be able to cope with those two lines okay and the final thing to say is that our uh, indicator is compatible with our very popular configurable strategy automator EA so this EA it looks like a standard sort of manual control panel with a one-click trading and money management but what's special about it is you can configure it with your trading rules so it can alert you or open a trade when your rules line up and we'll put some links to uh, the uh, the videos that show you more about this EA but what it will do for you is if you've got this indicator running is it can just double check that the symbol uh, is in say the top three so it'll check all your regular entry rules that you may already have and it'll also check that it's in say the top three or the top four for example well thank you very much for watching if you've got any questions please email us at support at runwisefx.com